This one is about the uh, unit heater I put in my shop, and some of you guys wanted to know how this thing was set up, how I wired it and stuff so that it would operate only when I'm there. So I, ha I have a problem with leaving the shop and forgetting the heater's on and it's on for a long time while I'm gone. So I'm using a proximity switch and that's right down here to control that. So that it shuts off about five minutes after I leave the shop. Okay, this is a schematic diagram, kind of a simple one. System switch is here. That's just a manual on-off switch. Uh, I'll show it to you out on the unit heater also, but I'm going to go through the schematic here right now. Okay, then you have a heat-operated fan switch right here and a fan motor. So when the heat exchanger heats up, it's going to close that and turn it on. Okay, I got a limit switch here. Now the limit switch, all it really does is shut off the transformer here, which that shuts off the entire low voltage for the ignition control. So the power goes through the limit switch. If the proximity switch is closed, meaning someone's out there, that's going to energize the transformer. And the transformer is going to be able to send power through the thermostat. And if it's closed, if it's cold enough out there, then it sends power to the ignition control. That's pretty much the whole ball game. But let's look at what happens when I'm out there and the unit starts up. The thermostat will probably already be closed because it's cold out there. So when I walk in, this proximity switch here will make that powers a transformer and that fires up through the thermostat, the ignition control, which starts the burners. Okay, then the burners, as they warm up, this fan switch is going to close and turn on the fan. So let's say I leave the area. After about five minutes, this proximity switch is going to open up. Now all it does, it actually does the same thing as the limit switch does. It opens up the circuit to the transformer so that the ignition control shuts down and the burners go off. The fan continues to run because you want to clear the heat out of the heat exchanger. If I put this proximity switch, say, somewhere up here, then it would shut off the fan. So you put it downstream of the fan. And other than that, there's really not much to this. Like I said, I will be showing you on the unit heater itself where all these parts are because it's not, you know, a schematic is never going to be self-explanatory for when you actually look at a unit. But this is the way it's supposed to cycle. So that's it on this one.